For today's DIY, we will be making mini ornaments and DIYs. I'm Daniela with DD's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's jump right in and let's get crafty. For our first DIY, we will be using this little miniature metal bucket and i purchased these in the craft section at dollar tree a while back and i thought it was perfect for this diy i'm also going to be using these small ornaments and i'm actually only going to be using one it's a clear small ornament and i'm also going to be using the cap of this little drink do you guys like Veocho? I love this drink, you guys. My dad used to always drink this when I was little and we used to add lemon and salt. Anyway, carefully remove that little bottle cap and we're gonna be using this for this DIY. And I'm gonna be drinking my V8, super good. And of course, it always has to be really cold. Cheers. Let's move on to our DIY. We're gonna start off with this little ornament. We're gonna put that up to the side for just a bit. And we're gonna be using some of these these pom-poms the ones that I have are these sizes but you can also use the miniature like these but I didn't have enough so I'm just gonna be using like I guess the medium size I have the regular pom-poms and also those glittery ones that have like little spikes on them and I'm just gonna mix them up just to give it a different texture and just so it's more fun this part is so simple you guys all you are doing is stuffing your little ornament and i think this diy would be perfect for kids i think christmas is a wonderful time to make diys so if you have kids add this to your list but if not it's a wonderful little addition to your christmas tree once our little ornament is nice and full we're gonna go ahead and get our little lid or our little cap and just close it up just like this and now we are ready to move on to our little metal bucket you guys and i'm gonna be removing that little handle and those two little metal things that are sticking out from the side i'm just folding them in and they bend so easily that way the bottom is flat and now we are ready to glue our little clear ornament on to our little bucket. And I've seen other people use those little terracotta pots, but I was out of those and I couldn't find any at Dollar Tree. So I thought this little bucket was perfect because it has that metal color. And now I'm going to be adding that little bottle cap and this is going to be where you insert the coins. And I'm just going to be gluing it to the front and I love how it matches my little metal bucket. And of course we need a little ribbon to hang our ornament so i had this sparkly ribbon but it's a little thick it's not gonna fit really nicely so i'm just gonna cut it in half and i love how it's so sparkly it's gonna match the little metal bucket look how cute this looks let me know in the comments below what you think of this first diy it's ready to hang on our tree now i'm interrupting my own video to let you guys know that these diys are part of the minis challenge hosted by crafted by corey check her out in the description below along with the full playlist where you can meet other makers and find more inspo our second diy is going to be a miniature ornament as well and we're going to be using one of these natural wood slices and i purchased this packet at amazon i'm going to be showing you how to make some cute ornaments with these i saw some of these ideas on pinterest first we're going to start off with this glittered foam poster and you can find these sheets at any craft store or dollar tree as well and they usually have them in like a regular sheet and i had this water bottle cap and it's going to be perfect for the nose of our reindeer which is what we're going to be making a reindeer ornament super simple super easy and it's cute for either you for an adult or you can make this with kids as well or a family project what I love about these foam glittered sheets is that they are self-adhesive and you can just stick them on to any DIY. Of course, you can always add your glue, like your glue gun, just for extra support, extra security, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just stick it on like this. So I'm gonna also be using this black paint. It's chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. I have told you guys this a thousand times. I love it so much, you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this pencil just to kind of get an idea where I want my eyes. And with the back of my paintbrush, I'm simply gonna be doing two little eyes just like this, you guys. So easy, so simple anybody can do this and it's so fun you guys because it's so adorable it's already looking cute look at that big shiny nose y'all we are also going to be adding a little line to the bottom and if you just want to really be precise and really make it straight because some of us you know get crooked at times just use a ruler and use your pencil and then go over it with your black paint and a fine paintbrush 
Now we can't have a reindeer without antlers, so working with what I already have at home, I'm gonna be using this thick poster board to draw some antlers, and I'm just kind of putting my little reindeer on the bottom to get an idea on how big I want the antlers. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, and I'm going to trace it so I can make my second antler, and that way it's the same size. And I'm gonna just flip it over because we need it to be the opposite way and trace that. And I'm gonna cut that one out as well. Now this is vinyl I had from the Dollar Tree and it's really cool because it is self-adhesive as vinyl is and I didn't have that foam sheet in silver. It's okay because I can just go ahead and just trace the antlers I've already made on the poster board and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that vinyl and then stick it onto that poster board that way it's a little bit thicker and so we can glue it on our reindeer. Now, since I am putting the vinyl on top of that poster board, I'm just gonna cut the little excess that sticks out a little bit because it's obviously not perfect. And I'm just gonna cut the edges and it looks super, super good now. So I am ready to glue it behind my little reindeer, you guys. And look at how simple this looks, but super adorable, super simple. Anybody can do this. And this is such a fun project that you can't even put like the year behind it. That way you remember when you made it or whoever made it. And I think this is such a cute DIY for kids as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now the little package that the little wooden circles came in had this twine in it already so I'm just going to use that one to just put it in my wooden circle and it's going to give it that final look for it to be an ornament. I'm loving the simple look of this reindeer you guys. Don't you let me know what you think and if you do make it don't forget to tag me. Our next DIY is an ornament as well and we're gonna be using those same wooden circles and for this one we're gonna use this marina color and it's an exterior outdoor paint and I love it you guys because the coverage is so awesome you don't need to do multiple coats and the color is so pretty and for this DIY we're gonna be doing a manger y'all a very simple manger and I found this idea on Etsy and for this DIY we're gonna start off with the little barn and we're gonna be using this cafe latte for the barn and we're just doing a simple little house just like this and it doesn't have to be perfect it's such a simple design which I love and I will be tagging the makers of my inspirations in the description below Now for the actual little manger, I'm going to go ahead and mix that cafe latte with a little bit of white and I'm just going to paint a little manger just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect and I love it because this DIY is so simple and it doesn't have to be like a perfect art piece. It's really, really cute and very simple like I said. So just go ahead and do a little manger just like this. As you can see, the color is a little bit lighter and I'm going to go ahead and do baby Jesus's head and I also mixed that cafe latte with a little bit of white and I made it a little bit different shade of a brown that way you can see it's a little different and his body in white now this idea I did get it from an Etsy seller and she is selling these I will link her page in the description below Now that my little ornament is coming together, I'm also going to be adding a star. And I'm going to be using this color in yellow and I'm just going to be doing a little star just like this, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to be adding some little dots with the tip of my paintbrush, with the back of my paintbrush. And I'm just going to be adding them all around the star. Once my little manger is dry, I'm going to be using that same cafe latte to add two little stands, I guess you could say, to the bottom of my manger. I have 
got this silver glitter paint but I wish I had it in gold because I'm adding it a little bit to the manger just to give it a little bit more of a sparkle but like I said I wish I would have had it in gold I think it would have looked prettier but this is just a little bit just to add a little shine the camera doesn't show it too much but you can see it more in person and on the star I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of white just so it kind of stands out just a bit I'm also adding my little twine on this one, the one that came in the package, you guys, and it really, really looks so pretty. It's so simple, and I would totally add this to my Christmas tree. And of course, you can always seal your painting with some acrylic sealer. It could be in matte or satin just for lasting protection. For our next mini ornament, we will also be using another wooden slice. And for this one, we're gonna do our background in white with some acrylic paint and just fill that whole background in white. And for this one, we're gonna be doing the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, you guys. I love Charlie Brown. Let me know if you do in the comments below. Let me know if you've seen the Christmas movie. It's super, super cute. And I love how they express and they share the true meaning of Christmas which is Jesus so I totally love that so what I'm gonna start off doing is doing the two little boards at the bottom and we're just gonna use that same cafe latte we used earlier and I did get this idea online and I do not know who the maker is and I'll try to add them in the description below but I loved this DIY because like I said I love Charlie Brown I love peanuts I love Snoopy so this DIY is so perfect I made a darker brown because I want my branch to be like a very, very, very dark brown. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black to that cafe latte. And I am going to use a very thin brush to start my Charlie Brown Christmas tree branches. Now with that same brown and that same brush, I'm going to go ahead and add some little details to the boards just to make it look more like wood. And this is already coming together you guys, I am loving it. With this acrylic paint in grass green, I am going to be doing the little bit of green that the little tree has and I'm going to use that same fine brush you guys. And we're not going to be adding a lot of green because you guys know that that little tree didn't have a lot of green on it, which is so cute, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Christmas movie is. I love this movie, The Charlie Brown Christmas, but I also love Elf, of course. I have to watch Elf every single Christmas and I love the Home Alone movies you guys and whenever it's Thanksgiving and then Christmas is coming around I also love You've Got Mail and it's a very cute chick flick it's one of my favorite movies as well let me know what you like to watch or any recommendations that you might have Now we are ready to add the little ornament, the only ornament, and we're going to be using this apple red. And with the back of your paintbrush or anything that's really fine, you can just do a little circle. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of black for the top of the ornament. Also added a little bit of glare onto my ornament, but I didn't show it for some reason. The camera was just not on the actual work I was doing, but this is the way it looks, you guys. And we're also going to be adding a little bit of twine. This is looking super cute. Don't forget to add a sealer for extra protection and for it to last longer. But let me know what you think of this DIY, you guys. I am loving it so much. Okay, you guys. Now, our final DIY is not so many, but I actually got a special request on this DIY. I purchased this candle at Dollar Tree and I did remove that plastic wrapping in the front because we don't want that. Cleaned off a little bit of the stickiness, which wasn't too hard to take off. We are now ready to start start on our Santa which is what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a Santa candle you guys I'm gonna start off with some white paint um, you can also use paint that's special for glass 
and you can find that at your local craft store. Now I was debating on how to do the eyes but I decided to keep it simple and just do one eye that's just a little dot and a winking eye. You know how much I love winking eyes you guys and of course our Santa has to have those pink cheeks you guys just to give it more of a cute look and with like a skin color I'm gonna do Santa's nose. Now I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I had this felt it's like a glittered felt you really can't see the glitter too much because of the camera and the lights but it has a little bit of glitter and I'm gonna be using my scissors to kind of cut a belt and I'm just kind of like winging it to see how thick it's gonna be but I noticed that it's a little bit too thick so I am gonna have to cut it a little bit shorter that's very very long and I'm just gonna cut until I am satisfied with how thick it is and you guys please Please excuse the hair on the felt. I think I dropped this and Molly laid on it or something. Molly is my dog and yeah, I had to kind of, I had to use a roller to get all of my little doggy hair off of that. Now I didn't show you guys, but I am using some buttons and they do sell these at Dollar Tree, a little container of black buttons. And I love those, you guys. I need to actually get more of those, but you can get them at any craft store. Maybe you have some in your stash. So I'm just gonna be gluing those onto my Santa and it's really gonna add a final look. Now I'm also gonna be using this silver shiny ribbon that we used earlier today for the first DIY for the ornament. And then I'm gonna fold that little ribbon and I'm just gonna cut a little square or a little rectangle inside that way I can make Santa's buckle you guys and it's the perfect size because the, the belt is a little bit thinner and it's just gonna add a little detail and it looks super cute you guys and this candle DIY was requested by a TikTok follower so thank you so much for giving me this challenge let me know what you guys think of this creation in the comments below this was actually requested after I made my snowman candle which I actually was inspired on Pinterest now let me know what you think of this Santa candle and now let's take a look at all of our five DIYs and let me know in the comments below which was your favorite all of these DIYs are all on a budget and you can totally do these with your kids with your family or just a fun little DIY that way you have something that you made yourself in your tree or it could even be a gift depending on what you like to do let me know if you'd like to see more ornaments or what you'd like to see next and if I did inspire you, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram. And of course, do not forget the reason for this season, our Jesus Savior. And I love how this little manger represents that, you guys. It's always wonderful to remember that he is the reason, he is the gift. He is the one that gives you peace, joy, love, and everything this season. So if you are sad, if there's something you're lacking, just remember that he fulfills all of that. And I know the holidays can be a little bit sad sad for some of us because we miss those loved ones but just remember god brings you that joy that nothing else can bring
Now real quickly, I'd like to share with you guys that if you'd like to support my crafts or if you'd like to support my projects, please go to Buy Me A Coffee and you can support me in my latest project. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell to be notified on my next DIY. And of course, don't forget to spread love, kindness, and stay crafty!